guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing something really simple, really easy watching, and that is my September favourites. Now, Jerry Shush, I hate being mean, but he just makes so much noise. Um, now, I know I have literally been like the world's worst for my favourites, um, but I'm going to start doing them religiously now because you forget how many favourites you like accumulate over the month and I think they're really good to watch because they they get you knowing about more products, more things that are going on. So yeah, I'm gonna do one then. If you guys do enjoy this video please give it a massive thumbs up. I wanna try and smash 300 likes on this video. That's gonna be quite hard on a favourites video but I think we can do it so please give it a thumbs up. I literally just knocked everything off the shelf. Um, but the first thing we'll talk to you guys about are these. Sorry about the foot in shop guys, but these tracksuit bottoms are from Victoria's Secrets Pink. And I believe they're actually not on the shelves at the moment. So I went into Lakeside so had a really late one night last week with Connor. And I met this girl in there who was really, really nice. Her name's Emma. Emma, if you're watching, hi. She saw me looking at the tracksuit bottoms and then she said, I'm going to go and get some out the back that I think you'll really like. They're not on the shelves at the moment, but you seem like you really want a nice pair, so we'll sell them to you if you want them. And she bought these out, and I absolutely loved them. And I love them because a good pair of tracksuit bottoms, I think I paid like £40 for them. I would pay £40 for a good pair of tracksuit bottoms. I wear tracksuit bottoms a lot um, because of my job, because I work from home a lot doing YouTube and stuff like that, and I always want to be in tracksuit bottoms but nice ones, not like grotty ones that you don't want to be seen in, if you know what I mean. So bras are kind of like a taboo subject on YouTube. Like no one knows whether they can really talk about them or not, but I'm the type of person where I don't really care about talking about my bra. It's a bra, like all girls wear one. So this is gonna be in my monthly favorites because I've never had a bra from Victoria's Secrets. Reason being, I've never felt I could justify spending £45 on a bra where I could go to Primark or wherever else and get a cheaper one. I understand now why people spend money on bras, a lot of money on bras and underwear. This is so comfortable. I know it sounds silly, but I honestly feel like a changed woman when I wear it. Like, it's amazing. And it's such good quality that I don't mind spending the £45 because I genuinely think I'm still gonna be wearing it when I'm having kids. That's a really long time away. The next thing I want to talk to you guys about is this. Now this is Nanuka oil, Nanuko oil. Um, I was brought up in Spain and my mum, this is a Spanish product. My mum bathed me and my brother in this every single day since we were born. And you can only buy it in Spain or online. There's rumours you can buy it in Brentwood, but I don't understand why they'd sell it in Spain online and in Brentwood. But it is the Brentwood market. So maybe people buy it online and sell it on in Brentwood. I don't know. But it's such good stuff. It smells amazing. And it is actually for babies, but my mum and dad bath in it. Like, it makes your skin so soft. You only need like one little squirt in your bath. And it smells so good. It's a cologne. I'm assuming it's a cologne. It says Agua de Colonia. Um, so I'm assuming that means like water with cologne. No, because that's con. Water. Colonial water. No, maybe not. I don't know. But it's such good stuff. I would highly recommend it. It's really affordable. We buy it in bulk. So it's probably better if you buy it in bulk, I guess, online. The next thing I want to tell you guys about are these brushes. Now, as you guys can tell, these brushes are so, so cute. The colour is amazing. They're rose gold. Let me tell you where I got them from. They're from a company called Oakley Rose. And they're so cute and so soft. Again, not really expensive at all. Um, but it's nice to have like a little set like this. And even if you have them just for show, like they look beautiful. Like they look really, really beautiful. I mean, the unfortunate thing is, is when you start using brushes like this, especially with the white tips, they don't ever go back to being that white. But I suppose because they're not that expensive, you could have one for use and one for show, if you know what I mean. I think that's what I'm gonna do. The next thing I'm gonna tell you guys about is this. This is 
from Soap and Glory. And I don't know if any of you guys know, I don't know if I've actually made it like obvious enough, but I have every single, or have had every single Soap and Glory product that they sell, or I had as of last Christmas. And I still haven't run out of like any of it. It's so, so cute. Um, the thing I'm loving from Soap and Glory at the moment is because I've got about 15 more body lotions of this size left to use but this one just smells so good like so so good so this is the smoothie star lightly whipped body buttercream and the they're not for individual sale may i add just so that you know you can't buy these individually you have to buy them as a set um this one smells like pistachio almond and sweet vanilla and let me tell you now honestly it's one of the best like body cream smells I've ever smelled. I absolutely love it. The only sad thing is it's so small and then you, well it's not so small but it's like quite small and then you have to move on to another one. Um, but I am yet to smell all the other ones because I don't want to smell them all and then like pick and choose which one I go to. I just want to pick one and then choose that one if you know what I mean. But I'm really not looking forward to running out of this one because it's so so cute. I love it. And it matches my room as well, so I have them all on show because they all match my room. The next things I want to talk about are these. So this is my Clinique set that I got for Christmas last year, and I've only, because I was like using different stuff at the time and I had stuff lined up, I've only started using it like in September, and I just can't get enough of it. So I have them like as a three. This is the liquid facial soap. Um, this is the cleanser clarifying lotion and this is the oh it's just dripped on me and this is the moisturizer and as you can tell they're all like super big so they're gonna last me like forever they're so good I've noticed such a difference in my skin where I've literally morning and night I've been religiously putting this on as a routine. I don't actually know how much this set is because I got it for Christmas. And the last thing I want to talk to you guys about is my seventh monthly favourite of September and that isn't actually a thing. It's Stranger Things on Netflix. Wow. That is all I can say. That was the most unbelievable Netflix series I've ever watched. And I've watched many Netflix series. It was so clever, it was so well written, and some of the stuff that they did in it was so well thought out. Like there was one part, I don't know if you guys have seen it, or if you remember, but there are two people having an argument, and then one storms upstairs, and the mum is left downstairs and they're filming her through the step the bars on the stairs and it looks like she's in jail and it represents her being isolated now connor told me that and i never would have thought about that but it's so true when you think about it they do stuff like that with camera work all the time and they're the little things that make you so intrigued in a program i wish i'd never seen it so i could watch it again and every time I watch it, I wish I could erase it from my mind so I could just keep watching it. Like, it's so clever. I'm so looking forward to series two because I believe they have announced they're making a series two. But I've also heard that Eleven's not going to be in it. And that makes me so, so sad. But I'm sure they'll do really, really well. I'm sure they'll do it justice. I absolutely loved it. So, well done to the guys who made Stranger Things. I love you. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope I've given you a little bit of um, advice, I guess, of some of the products that you go looking for if you're looking for anything like this. Like I said at the beginning, if you did enjoy this video, please give it a massive thumbs up. Share in the comments some of your favourite products and things of September and I'll be sure to have a look and probably test a few of them out. And if you're new here, then definitely please subscribe. Also, guys, just to let you know, I'm doing Vlogtober at the moment on my vlogging channel, which is Lauren Platt Extra. Um, I'm having so much fun doing it. It's really, really fun daily vlogging. And 
tomorrow is my birthday so the next few vlogs are going to be really really interesting but they're all on there if you want to start from the beginning please go over and have a little look and subscribe to that channel as well it'll be much appreciated and i'll see you guys on sunday bye